360, premiering August 18th at 9 on the Weather Channel. Welcome back, everyone. You're taking a live look at San Juan, Puerto Rico. There could be some impacts from Tropical Storm Bertha as early as this weekend. So let's get some more details on what that will mean for Puerto Rico, the Caribbean, potentially the United States. Hurricane Specialist Carl Parker joins us now. Finally has a name. Yeah. Probably has some people's attention. Mm -hmm. Having said that, it's not very strong right now. Not very strong. We don't think it's going to necessarily get very strong. It's a tropical storm and a low-end tropical storm. And here's the latest from the Hurricane Center. 45 mile per hour storm. It's now moving west-northwest at 20 miles per hour. That's a pretty fast forward movement and this is the visible satellite picture so there's the low level circulation the thunderstorms are still displaced off to the east because there is stronger mid and upper level wind that's coming across here so it's not terribly well organized right now but it's more organized than it's been in a while and in fact the hurricane hunters are out in the system they're flying around they are finding some pretty finding some pretty strong tropical storm force wind the highest reading so far 60 miles per hour at flight level and with a device that they use to scan the ocean, they're finding winds as high as about 47 miles per hour at the surface. So there is some stronger wind in that group of thunderstorms. And this is the model forecast showing you what happens as we go into this afternoon. So we'll take it into late afternoon, 5 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, actually, we'll go into 7.30 Eastern Time. And here you see we've got some stronger wind that's coming into the Leeward Islands. So we're talking about Guadalupe, Montserrat, Antigua, also St. Kitts and Nevis. In those areas, winds of 30 to 40 miles per hour gusting to tropical storm force. Then that stronger wind is going to move over into the Virgin Islands tomorrow morning and start to get into Puerto Rico. And it will be affecting Puerto Rico during the day tomorrow. And then we'll see some stronger wind coming up towards the Bahamas by Sunday. Also, a fair amount of rain is on the way. In general, what we're talking about is a large area of one to two inches, but there will be some spots that get even more than that. Puerto Rico is very mountainous, and so that squeezes out even more rain. There could be three to six inches of rain there, and that means potentially some flooding, but it is needed rain. That's a look at the drought in the Caribbean in the month of June. It's been very dry there across a lot of the Caribbean. So what happens after that? Well, notice the upper winds coming across the east. That's not going to change very much, so what that will do is grab the system and take it off to the north and to the east. Here are the computer models showing you that turn to the north and then off to the north and to the east, and the Hurricane Center's forecast does reflect that trend. Now, we could be talking about a mid-grade tropical storm. At this point, it looks like it's going to be offshore. There could be some impacts along the coast, maybe some elevated surf, maybe a rip current threat, but right now it appears that it's not going to have a direct impact on the U.S. Of course, it's going to get close, and so we'll need to keep a very close eye on it. Guys, back to you. All right, Carl, thank you for that very, very much. All right, time now for your score.